St. Anthony of Padua was born on August 15th, year 1195, in Lisbon, Portugal. His life with God was very sacred. He devoted his whole body, mind, and spiritual life to him by becoming a priest. He took part in the Franciscan order with St. Francis of Assisi, his mentor. St. Anthony is also the patron saint of lost items. Many people turn to him for the guidance and patience to recover the possessions they misplaced. St. Anthony was the definition of a humble man and devoted his spiritual life to the work of the teachings of God, who inspired these ideas into his mind by divine inspiration. Although St. Anthony was named after Padua, he grew up in Portugal. At age 15, he realized God was calling to him for something else, the Congregation of Canons of St. Augustine. By doing this, he freely chose to listen to God and soon realized he was set apart to do our Lord Jesus Christ's mission and to treat others the way they want to be treated and fulfill God's plan for the rest of the world. Whilst being a young man doing God's work in Portugal, St. Anthony was practicing and studying at the Monastery of Cumbria, which is located in Portugal. When the friars came to Cumbria, Anthony was fascinated by them. In some sorts, the friars from St. Friskin's associations recruited Anthony to go with them and preach in Italy. That is how St. Anthony got his name. He taught there for many years, which were the last years of his life, and that's why he was named St. Anthony of Padua. St. Anthony's prayer life is just like St. Francis of Assisi. He did things others would not, as displayed in this anecdote. One day, St. Anthony and a certain amount of friars were going to a sermon, which was held in the town of Forli. The man who was going to preach and give the sermon had fallen ill, while the people that were in charge of the sermon asked all the friars, including St. Anthony, if one of them could give the sermon. Unfortunately, all of them gave excuses like they were not prepared nor ready or could not perform under the situation. Then they turned to St. Anthony. At first he hesitated and was not immediately willing to do so. He felt that he was not worthy of, this, of his superior asked of him. Nevertheless, he gave the sermon. The people listening to the sermon were astounded. They were astonished with the way he spoke of God and his love. When St. Francis was informed of the event, he gave St. Anthony the mission to go and preach throughout Italy. At the request of the brethren, St. Anthony was later commissioned to also teach theology. But St. Francis of Assisi thought that his talents and love of God could be used for better society elsewhere. St. Anthony himself brought life to souls who had lost their way. Whilst preaching the beautiful and fulfilling word of God and delivering his mission and plan to humans around the world, he was staying in Italy. He was staying in a man's house who was generous enough to offer a room to St. Anthony. One night, the man came into the room to check on his guest, St. Anthony. Little did he know what he was walking into. He walked in and was astonished and astounded from what he saw. He saw the miracle of the infant Jesus in the arms of St. Anthony himself. This is one of the miracles that made St. Anthony a saint decided today. The fact that St. Anthony was chosen to fulfill this miracle of the infant baby Jesus was to show that he has had a very special relationship to God. The prayer to St. Anthony is just as follows. Holy St. Anthony, gentle and powerful in your help, your love for God and charity for his creatures made you worthy when on earth to possess miraculous powers. Miracles waited on your word, which you were always ready to request for those in trouble or anxiety. Encouraged by this thought, I implore you to obtain from me your request. The answer to my prayer may require a miracle. Even so, you are the saint of miracles. Gentle and loving Saint Anthony, whose heart is ever full of a human sympathy, take my petition to the infant Savior for whom you have such a great love. In the gratitude of my heart will ever be yours. Amen. At the end of Saint Anthony's life, he resided in the city of Padua. This is why he was named so. He gave many sermons and taught amongst this city. On his deathbed, he gradually would just look up at the ceiling and smile happily. He received his final sacrament, anointing of the sick. The man who gave him, gave him the sacrament asked, Why do you smile when you are ill? He answered, I see my Lord. And he took his final breath and passed calmly. This sad day was June 13th, year 1231 A.D. 
He was announced a saint by Pope Gregory the Ninth. This was the same pope that named him the Provincial Superior of Northern Italy. This only happened a year after. Saint Anthony was truly a loving, faithful, and kind man who truly was trusted to be a worker of the mission of God and was not bounded by anything to preach the gospel of the Lord. And for that, we thank the great Saint Anthony of Padua.